Everybody's body is different. Many people are becoming larger in size in most countries. Some people stay thin, while others are very skinny. This list shows the 20 thinnest people in the world. Watch it on my channel called Blind Truth. Number 20. Tom Staniford. Some people who are very thin aren't that way by choice. Sometimes their bodies naturally stay very skinny. Like Tom Staniford, he has a rare problem called NDP syndrome. This stops his body from storing fat under the skin. He's one of only eight people with this condition. But that's not all. Tom also found out he has type 2 diabetes, so he has to be careful about what he eats to stay healthy. Having some fat in your body is important. Bad fat can cause weight gain and muscle problems. But good fat helps your body work properly. Because Tom doesn't have much body fat, his muscles aren't very flexible. They're only 40% as strong as a regular person's. This makes things hard for him. But Tom doesn't let these problems stop him. He's a cyclist and has competed in many places. Even though he has to watch his diet, he still enjoys food he likes. His condition is tough, but he tries to live his life as best as he can. Number 19. Rachel Farrow. I've talked about ways to lose weight, but one way that's widely known is anorexia. Rachel struggled with it for years. She was once seen as beautiful, but anorexia made her very thin. She became so weak that she needed constant care in the hospital. Her husband had to quit his job to take care of her and ask for help to pay her medical bills. Rachel decided to get better, but it was tough. When you're too thin, eating again isn't easy. Hospitals may refuse to help if you're below a certain weight because it's risky. Rachel faced this problem. Getting too thin can lead to serious health issues and even death. So, it's okay to want to be thin, but it's important to know when to stop. Otherwise, you could end up in a dangerous situation, maybe even close to death. Number 18. Anna Ward. This is about a woman named Anna Ward. It's a serious warning from us making this video. We're saying, don't be like her. She's doing things that are really bad and shouldn't be copied. She's very thin in a harmful way, and she tells others to be the same, which is dangerous. She wasn't always like this. She used to be naturally thin because she was tall, which is okay. But after facing bullying and feeling bad about herself, she became anorexic. She was even on a show where judges praised her very thin body, but that caused a lot of controversy. Although she's not modeling anymore, her thoughts about being anorexic are still not good and should not be followed. Seriously, don't do it, not even to become a model. Being America's next top model isn't worth it. Number 17. Lana Spangenberg Lana Spangenberg is a model from Romania known for her very thin waist. People called her the human hourglass because of her shape. Some might think she's anorexic, but she's not. She eats three meals a day, including fatty foods like pizza, yet she doesn't gain weight. Her doctors say it's probably because of her fast metabolism, which means her body burns calories quickly. Metabolism works differently for everyone. Lana's body shape has made many people talk about her, mostly in a negative way. However, she insists she's never starved herself. She didn't become a model until later in life when her husband suggested it. In Romania, being larger is seen as a sign of wealth and status, but Lana didn't starve herself because of that. It's just how her body naturally is. Number 16. Lene Marie Fenn. Lene Marie Fenn had a tough life. She became famous for struggling with anorexia, a serious illness where people don't eat enough and become very thin. Her story is sad because it began when she was just 10 years old. She didn't eat. Not because she wanted to be thin, but because she wanted to stop time and stay a child forever. It's kind of sweet, but it led to a nightmare. Her body didn't grow properly because she went down this dangerous path too fast. She even used her love for taking pictures to show how much she was hurting herself. Sadly, she died at 33 because her body couldn't handle what she was doing anymore. A documentary was made about her life and it made people very upset. The pictures of her very thin body made us wonder what her life could have been like if she didn't choose this sad fate.
Number 15. Valeria Levin. Valeria Levin's story is really sad. Another woman, Valeria Levitin, became anorexic because her friends called her fat. They teased her about her weight and she felt really bad, so she started a diet to lose weight. It wasn't a game or a joke, it was her life. At first, she weighed about 64 kilograms, but because of what her friends said, she became obsessed with being thin. She lost a lot of weight and ended up weighing only 27 kilograms. That's less than half of what she weighed before. She wanted to be the kind of thin her friends would like, but it was wrong for them to make her feel that way. Trying to be thin made her really sick, and even though she tried to get better, it was too late. Her body couldn't handle it anymore, and she passed away when she weighed just 25 kilograms. The lesson here is simple. Never tease or make fun of someone about their weight unless you know how it might affect them. One hurtful comment can cause serious harm, even death. It's important to be kind and considerate towards alt. Number 14. Eugenia Cooney. Eugenia Cooney is a well-known person on the internet. She's popular on platforms like YouTube and Twitch, but she has a serious health problem called anorexia. Her fans have been worried about her for a long time. Some even asked for her to be banned from YouTube because they cared about her health. They didn't want her to be a role model for groups that promote anorexia. Eugenia first said she didn't have any problems. Then she took a break from being online to take care of herself. But she struggled and hasn't really gotten better. Being an online personality has put a lot of pressure on her, and she's had a hard time dealing with it. Number 13. Lizzie Velasquez. Lizzie Velasquez has a rare health condition called neonatal progeroid syndrome. It's not like anorexia. She was born prematurely, and this condition makes it hard for her body to gain weight or store fat. Only three people, including her, have this condition. At her heaviest, she weighed just under 29 kilograms and now stays around 26 kilograms. She has to eat every 15 minutes and take in 5,000 to 8,000 calories a day just to stay alive. Even though she doesn't look healthy because of her condition, she works as a motivational speaker. Lizzie is 34 years old and continues to live and inspire others despite her challenges. Number 12. Jeremy Gillitzer. Jeremy Gillitzer's story is really sad. When he was young, he was a bit overweight, but he changed his life by exercising and getting fit. Men feel pressure about their looks too, just like women. Jeremy became very muscular and famous for his body, but things went wrong. He got anorexia and BMI, which is very bad for the body. Having just one of these problems is terrible, but having both is even worse. He wasn't healthy, even though he tried to warn people about what happened to him. Sadly, he died when he was only 38. He weighed less than 30 kilograms. It's hard to understand because he seemed like he'd be okay since he got fit once, but it wasn't enough. He paid the highest price for it. Number 11. Christina Kag. Christina Kag has a story about anorexia. Her doctor said something important after checking her. The doctor said she looked like a very thin, almost like a dead person in a movie. Her body was very damaged because of how thin she was. It's really bad for her health. Because of her long struggle with anorexia, she only weighs about 17 kilograms. That's as light as a four-year-old child. No one should be that thin, except children. It makes you wonder why people do this to themselves. But many times, it's because they want to look a certain way, no matter what. Christina is getting treatment now, but her body is starting to fight against her because she didn't take care of it for so long. Number 10. Michelle Kobe. People have always wanted to be thin, even long ago. Different cultures had ways to do this. For example, in England, they used something called corsets to make people look thinner. Michelle Kobe took it to the extreme by wearing a corset all the time. This made her waist very small, like 15 centimeters. She eats very little food and still wears the corset. But doing this is really bad for her body. It's important not to copy her because it's not healthy. Number 9. Lucia Zarata. 
Lucia Zarato was a very small woman because of a condition called dwarfism. She weighed only about two kilograms when she was a year old and grew to only about six kilograms when she was an adult, which is very light. Because she was so small, people used to pay to see her like a special attraction in a museum that her family made out of their home. But one day, when she was traveling with a group, their train got stuck in a snowstorm. It was very cold, and Lucia got very sick and died because of the extreme cold. Number 8. Margarita Barbieri a lady named Margarita Barbieri faced a problem because of hurtful words. She wanted to be a ballet dancer, but her teacher called her Thunderfies, which made her feel bad. Her teacher also said her body wasn't right for ballet. This made her very sad, so she started a strict diet where she'd hardly ate anything. She would fast for days and only eat around 140 calories each day. Because of this, her body became very weak. Luckily, she was able to get better, and now she talks about her experience to warn others about the dangers of extreme diets. She wants to make sure people don't go through what she did with eating disorders. Number 7. Kendra Thamagar Kendra Thamagar was a very short man. When he was 18 years old, he was only 67 centimeters tall. His father said that when Kendra was born, he was so tiny that he could fit in the palm of your hand. His family was scared to give him baths because they thought water might harm him. He became known as the shortest mobile man in the world. Guinness World Records found him and his country used him to attract tourists. He was happy to help. Sadly, because of his size, he didn't live very long. He died when he was 27. His story shows that life can be unfair, even to people who don't complain about their situation. Number 6. Isabel Caro Isabel Caro had a tough time growing up because of her mother. Her mom didn't want her to get taller, so she measured her every day and didn't let her go outside. She thought fresh air would make Isabel grow, so she was very strict. Isabel became very thin, weighing only 25 kilograms at one point. Later, she became a model and wanted to help others with similar struggles. But sadly, she passed away because her body stopped working properly. It was really painful for her, all because her mother was very controlling and abusive. Number 5. Karen Carpenter Karen Carpenter was a famous singer. She was part of a band called The Carpenters, and her voice was known worldwide. She was really talented, but she had a problem. She toured a lot, which made her body very weak. She got an illness called anorexia, but didn't want to admit it or get help for it. She focused a lot on her music career and didn't take care of her health. Sadly, she died when she was only 32 because her heart stopped working properly. Her death made people more aware of eating disorders. Number 4. Caddy and Maria Campbell Have you heard about Caddy and Maria Campbell? They were twins who always did everything together, even copying each other. Sadly, they both struggled with anorexia for more than 20 years. This made them very sick, and they had to go to the hospital. People usually think twins doing everything together is special, but this wasn't good. They wanted to stop, but it was hard because they had hurt their bodies so much. They couldn't walk properly, and eating was difficult for them. They knew even if they got better, they might not live for long. That's why it's important to stop eating disorders early, before they cause too much harm. Number 3. Anna Carolina Reston Anna Carolina Reston entered the world of modeling when she was quite young. In this world, both women and men face harsh rules about how they should look. If they don't meet these standards, they get criticized. Anna faced this too, even though she was a bit shorter than most models. She won some contests, but some agencies rejected her for being too fat. This led her to struggle a lot with an illness called anorexia, which eventually caused her death. It's sad because many people knew she wasn't well, but no one helped her, and she also didn't seek help herself. This resulted in a tragic outcome. Number 2. Kathy Jung Kathy Jung started wearing a corset to look slimmer. She didn't plan to become so skinny. She first wore it for her wedding, but then she kept wearing it. Her body changed a lot, and now she holds the record for the smallest waist because of how tightly she wore the corset. 
Some records are not good to have, and this is one of them. Number 1. Giot Amy. Giot Amy is a young girl who stopped growing when she was very small. She has a condition called dwarfism, which makes her much shorter than most people. Despite her size, she's very special to her family and others because she has a lively personality. It's not always easy for her because she has to wear clothes that are made just for her. But she's become famous for some things she's done, and she's okay with being small. In a video, I talked about stories like Jilt Emmys. Did those stories surprise you or make you feel scared? Which story affected you the most? Maybe this video changed how you think about being thin. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check out other interesting things on the screen. See you next time.